Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel Vadnell here for Fitness FAQs. Today's video, I wanna cover some exercises to help increase your pulling power and turn you into a pulling beast. Let's get it. The three exercises I'm going to show you are gonna progress from easy to hard, and they're going to increase in their power requirements. The first one is the clapping pull-up. With this one, guys, you only need a pull to about chin height to be able to achieve the clapping pull-up. It's a good exercise because it forces you to be fast enough when you pull up, otherwise you're not going to be able to clap the bar, come back and then repeat for reps. It's just not going to be possible. If you're too slow, it'll show and you won't get your reps in. When you're doing this exercise, I want you to pay attention that I'm not going into a dead hang in between reps. I'm always staying nice and active and I'm exploding as soon as I reach that straight arm scapula engaged position. This is because I wanna maximize the stretch reflex. We're doing power training. We wanna be as explosive as possible. If we're dropping into a dead hang, resting, and then trying to repeat for reps, we're not going to maximize our power generation. You can maximize your elastic response when you rapidly stretch a muscle and then immediately follow it with a concentric contraction. That's the stretch reflex, that's power training. Let's move on to a harder progression being the stomach slap pull up. This is going to force you to pull to at least your collarbone height, make contact with your stomach, hands back to the bar, and then repeat for reps. If you're not fast enough with this movement, you won't be able to do it for repeated reps. And it's a great one because each time you need to be honest with yourself. If you're not explosive enough, you won't get the reps. It's black and white, right or wrong. This is why it's an awesome exercise for increasing power production, especially when the clapping pull up is too easy for you and you can do it for too many reps. This last exercise here, guys, is very difficult to do properly. It's the behind the back clapping pull up. You need a pull to almost chest height to be able to get this one off in time. You're also going to need a decent amount of shoulder mobility to even reach behind your back in this position. A lot of us calisthenic athletes tend to be a lot tighter with this position. One thing I want you to keep in mind when we're doing these movements, no kip at all. We're not about that kipping game, guys. We're about that raw power production. If you're kipping, you're cheating your self-generating power production. We're just using the stretch reflex and our own body's ability to generate force in a rapid manner. So keep your body in a straight position. Avoid the temptation to hinge at the hips when you're doing the exercises. Avoid the temptation to use a kip and I guarantee that your pulling power will increase, muscle ups will be more explosive, pulling strength will improve as a consequence as well, and you'll be loving me for the gains that you're making. Put this into your training and you will be explosive. Just wanna give you guys a brief note on power training. So power equals force times velocity. So in our conventional training, we're doing strength sets, we're trying to maximize our force production, which is fantastic. You need to train in a specific way to get stronger at strength. But the thing is you can't always train at such a high intensity focusing on force production. If you're truly at a high intensity with high force production, your speed of movement will be slow. Think of a very heavy set of five on chin-ups where you can barely struggle through it. Your speed's going to be slow, but you'll still manage it. When we're looking to train for power, we're maximizing velocity. So the amount of force that's in the exercise will be lower, but the speed in which we're doing the exercise will be increased. That's why when you're doing power training, it's good to use no weight at all or very light weight so we can maximize the velocity component of the equation. This allows you to train a different style of power production without burning your CNS out from heavy force specific training. This definitely has its place guys and you do need to train fast to be fast and it can definitely complement your strength training if you use it as an adjunct. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, as always, thumbs up the video, show some love to Fitness FAQs and I'll keep bringing you guys the best content that I possibly can. If you're looking for training programs, online coaching, and if you wanna see the method to bring all this stuff together, guys, head over to fitnessfaqs.tv and learn how to build muscle, build strength, and master your body weight.